So we managed to get a hold of the newly updated Nintendo Switch. And if you've seen our coverage by now, then you probably already know that it's pretty much identical to the original Switch except for a longer battery life, at least going by what Nintendo has said themselves. But we wanted to go even deeper and see if there might possibly be any undisclosed differences. After all, the updated Switch appears to be sporting the newer, slightly smaller chipset from the upcoming Switch Lite. Which means there could possibly be other performance differences elsewhere, such as say when it comes to load times or even download times. So we ran a few tests to see if we could spot any differences ourselves. And let's start off by taking a look at the loading times in a couple of games. First up is Super Mario Odyssey version 1.3, which we ran from the eternal memory of both systems. And starting from a cold boot, it took just around 20 seconds to get to the main menu on both systems, with the new Switch lagging behind by just under 1 second, which is pretty much inconsequential. And similarly, traveling from the Cascade Kingdom to New Donk City took just under 12 seconds for both of them. So far, any difference appears to be entirely negligible, with a small gap possibly being chalked up to the same random fluctuations we've noticed in load times even on the same Switch. But what happens if you try a different game, such as Breath of the Wild version 1.6? Well, if you warp from the Great Plateau to Kakariko Village, we can see that, sure enough, it took almost the exact same amount of time, being 18 and a half seconds. So as far as we can tell from the handful of tests we performed, loading times seem to be unaffected between the new and original switches to any meaningful degree. But what about download times? Well, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. To test it out, we downloaded Super Mario Maker 2 three different times on both the new and old switches, and then averaged out the results to try and mitigate any random fluctuations due to internet traffic. And I'm not going to beat around the bush, because to our surprise, the new switch beat out the old switch in all three tests. So on average, the old switch finished the download after 16 minutes and 40 seconds, whereas the new switch finished up over a minute quicker at 15 minutes and 16 seconds, again on average. That's nearly 10% faster. Now, while saving a minute and a half may not sound like much, keep in mind that Super Mario Maker 2 is relatively tiny at just under 3 gigabytes, which means you might appreciate that time savings when it comes to bigger games, like Breath of the Wild's nearly 16 gigabytes. So there you have it. While the new Nintendo Switch seems to have little, if any, difference when it comes to load times, it seems it might save a few minutes here and there when it comes to the download speeds. Again, based on our tests, which is a potentially nice perk on top of the better battery life. And with that, thanks for watching, and make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that bell for more on Nintendo Switch and all things Nintendo 2. We'll catch you later. Bye.